So I'll continue this part. Again, I will repeat this one again. So I have here two parts, as I said. One and two parts. Do we have something in common? I don't have nothing in common. Four to x plus one. Then I, I will ask myself the second question. Is it an identity? Yes, it's an identity. I can see something squared minus something squared. So it's a squared minus b squared. So it's a minus b. A minus b, a plus b. And then I will, I will replace... So I will have 2 minus 2x plus 1 and 2 plus 2x plus 1. And you need to be careful with the parentheses here and for the change of sign. So I will have 2 minus 2x minus 1. So it's minus 2x plus 1. And the second one is 2 plus 2x plus 1. Then I will have the final answer factorized. Now another example. Okay. No more example. Here it's a revision. Hey, the revision for what we did. Okay, again. I, to, to factorize, I ask myself three questions. I, the first one, visible factor. Okay. Can I see something in common? Okay. I will ask myself the second question. Is that an identity? If it's an identity, I can see. Yeah, A squared minus B squared. Oh, A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Or I can see A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. Now, we need to be careful. A squared minus B squared, I can see it, muscle and two big parentheses. And, and then I need to factorize it. Now, if I cannot, I don't have a visible factor. I don't have an identity. I need to ask myself the third question. Can I do a partial factorization? What does it mean, partial factorization? Yani I need to take a part and I need to factorize it, then to have a common factor. Okay, I will explain how. Let's do, let's do it. Now I need to factorize this one, okay? If I look at this, at this one here, I will erase a little bit to have a little bit organized. If I look at this one here, I'll just fix it, try, because it's messy, because I was, okay. I have two parts. I have, this is the first part, and this is the second part. In each part, I have two parentheses. Okay, when I say common factor, yani I need to look at each part if it's the same. Do we have something in common? Yani x plus 1 here, do we have it here? No. x plus 3, do we have it here? No. 2x plus 2, do we have it here? No. x minus 1, do we have it here? No. So, okay, I will pass to my second question. Is this one an identity? Yani is, this one, if, is this one one of those? Is it a squared minus b squared? Is it this one or this one? No. So when I need to do partial, shiny partial factorization, I will take one part of it, and I will try to see if I can do a small factorization inside. So if you look at this parenthesis, or I look at the parentheses, I will know that I have here 2x plus 2. So my common factor, and when I'm doing a partial, I, I'm taking a part. I'm doing a partial factorization. The common factor is 2 here. So 2 factor of what? What I still have from this one? x. What I still have from this one? 1. So again, only and the two times x, and here I have two times one. So I'm doing I'm doing a partial factorization. I took the two. I have x plus one, x minus four. Do we have now a visible factor? Yes, I can see it. My visible factor is x plus one. Now I'm going back to the first question. And when after I doing this partial, had this small part, virtual visible factor. Now an x plus one factor. What I have from the first one, x plus three plus what I have from the second one, 2 times x minus 4. And typically the same like before, I will develop and reduce to have the final answer. You need to write all the notes. Another example. Come in. If I look at this one, I have how many parts? I have two parts. This is a part, daemon, a part in a parenthesis, separated by minus. Okay? Hey, the one block, can yeah, a parenthesis is a block. Mission 2 is a part, this is a part. This is a block, and this is one part, another part. Do we have something in common? Can I see a visible fact? And can I see a visible parenthesis? I cannot see it. There is nothing in common. Now I look at each one and I try to see if I have something. I can do a partial factorization. Now, if I look at the first one, can I do anything to, for example, to x plus 3? Nothing. X minus 7, x minus seven nothing. Uh, x plus 1, nothing. 6x plus 9. Uh -huh. Can I do something here? Yes. 6x plus 9, I can do a partial factorization. This is a part, I took it. 6 here, 3 times 2x, and 9 here, 3 times 3. The common factor is a 3. This is a 3, and this is a 3. 
I can factorize. Hala. I can write it here or in the beginning. I know it's a multiplication. But the best, the best method is to do it, to put it in the beginning. So now I have a visible. I can see it. It's 2x plus 3, 2x plus 3. Factor of what I still have from the first one, x minus 7. This is my minus. What I still have from the second one, minus 3 times x plus 1. And then all what we need to do is to develop and reduce. Now, you need to be careful when you reach this point here, 2x plus 3 times minus 2x minus 10. Also, if I can do partial factorization, I need to factorize. So, when minus 2x minus 10, do we have something in common? Yes, I have. Like, I know, one minus 2 times x, one minus 2 times uh, 5. So, the common is minus 2, minus 2 factor of, I still have here x plus 5, and I put it in the beginning, and when it's multiplication, so I can write it, for example, 2x plus 3 times minus 2 times x plus 5. It's better to, to put minus 2 in the beginning. Let's move now to another example. Again and again. Come in. How many parts I have here? Two parts. I can see it. One and two. Do we have something in common? Can I see it? Is it visible? I can't see something. I, can't, I don't have here x minus 1. I don't have x plus 3. But I have minus x plus 1. When I have it the same, but it's opposite. So I need to factorize by minus 1 when the sign is not the same. Yeah, I know minus x, yeah, as I said, minus 1 times x. With plus 1, can I have minus 1 times minus 1? So I'm factorizing by minus 1. I'll put it outside. So minus 1 factor of, I still have x minus 1. I can check my work. Minus 1 times x minus x. Minus 1 times minus 1 plus 1. Now, can I see my visible factor? Yes. It's x minus 1 factor. x plus 3 minus x minus 4. I can, instead of writing like this plus minus, I can put a big minus here. Okay? And then I will simplify normally inside. It's the same steps. Another example here. The partial factorization. If it has a common number, if it has an identity. If I look at this one, Okay, here. Some of you will say, Mrs. will say it's three parts. Hey, the one part. X2 is a part, minus 4 is a part. Okay, but if I take X2 a part, 4 is a part, I cannot do anything. But I can take this is a part and X squared minus 4 is another part. The X squared minus 4, I need to do for it partial factorization. She a partial factorization, I need to factorize it alone. I, I will note that this is an identity. It's X minus 2, X plus 2. And then my common factor is x minus 2. I can see this is my visible. x minus 2 factor of x plus 3 plus x plus 2. And then I will do x plus x, 2x, 3 plus 2, 5. And now I will, I have the factorized form. Again, here if I look at this one, this is one part. If I will say here, you know, hey, the x2 part, 6x part, 9 part will not work. But I can take that all this one is one part. Do we have something in common? Do we have a visible factor? No. Is all this one identity yani, together? La. But I can see that this is a small part. Hey, this part is an identity. Yani, hey, this is my partial factorization. x squared plus 6x plus 9 is an identity. Hey, the a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So I can factorize it x plus 3 squared. So x plus 3, x plus 3. Now my common factor is x plus 3. Factor of what we still have from the first one, x plus 1. What I have from the second one, x plus 3, and then all what we need to do is to calculate. Now, if I reach this point, I will notice that between 2x and 4, the common factor is 2. When I'm down, a more factorization. I can put 2 outside the common factor. I still have here x, and I still have here 2, and 4 here, 2 times 2. To know what we still have in the 2x divided by 2, so x, 4 divided by 2, 2, and this is my factorized 4. That's it. Every time I need to solve equal to zero, it should be factorized. Yani, the same idea. If I need to solve any expression equal to zero, I said that, it should be in the factorized form. Already we factorize it. Now, when I have it factorized, something times something times something is equal to zero, what does it mean? One of the numbers should be zero. So I will take here the factorized. I have three, I have this, I have this. Three cannot be zero, so or to x plus 3x is equal to 0, or minus x plus 2 is 0, and or is very important in between, or. And then I solve each one. It means if we replace x by 2 or x by minus 2 over 3, I will have an answer 0 for this one. Let me see if there is something that are all the same here, the same idea, a squared minus b squared. I just want to, all those are the same idea. I just want to do a little bit reviewing. 
Okay, when they say find the roots, يعني I need to solve equal to zero and it should be also in the same in the factorized form. <coughs> that's it here. I still, I, that's it. Now here, this part, اللي هي a number. One minute, that's it. number three. Come here, the first question was to factorize. I have two parts, I can see it. Do we have a visible factor? I don't have a visible factor. I can see that I have 3x minus 5, 5 minus 3x. Those are opposite. So I can factorize by minus 1 here. So it will be minus 3x minus 5. I can see my visible factor. I can see it. It's 3x minus 5. I still have here 5x minus 4 and minus x minus 2. And I will continue solving and factorizing two factor of 3x minus 5 to x minus 5. Again, for the second one, 9x squared minus 30x plus 25. Do we, we have three terms, 1, 2, 3. Do we have something in common? No. Is it an identity? Yes, it's a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So it's 3x squared, 5 squared, 25. So it's a squared, we had b squared minus 2ab. So it's a minus b squared, and 3x minus 5 squared, and 3x minus 5 times 3x minus 5. Now here, I need to solve equal to zero. When I want to solve any expression equal or not equal to zero, it should be in the factorized form. I have it already, each term equal to zero, this one or this one, I will solve it, I will find the roots. I will continue here. Same, same idea, I need to solve g of x equal to four, and I don't know to solve equal to a number, but the equal to zero all the time, so I'll take everything to one part. So I have g of x minus four equal to zero, and it gives me a squared minus b squared. I need to factorize it. I need to solve anything equal to zero. I'll factorize it. I will factorize and I will solve equal to zero. a squared minus b squared, a minus b, a plus b. We'll factorize and we'll solve and we'll find the answer equal to zero. Now, defined, yani has an answer. When we define defined, yani each fraction, when I'm a fraction has an answer, if my denominator is not equal to zero, I cannot have zero in the denominator. So every time they ask me, Find x for h of x is defined and yani denominator not equal to zero. I will, I need to have it factorized, equal or not equal factorized. And since it's defined and the both are not accepted, then I will solve it equal to zero with and in between. That's it. There's nothing more. Simplify, I will simplify the like terms. Equal to zero. Fianna two methods. Our fraction is zero and my numerator is zero. Or you cross multiply here. And every time I solve, I cross multiply, I need to have the answer, it should be, I will check it that it's not like preceding part one, like the condition, so I will write accepted or rejected. And the same method for number four, come in, I will factorize, but number four and the three parts, one, two, three, and now here, here it's an identity, okay, it's an identity, partial factorization, a squared minus b squared, 3x minus 4, 3x plus 4. I, now I can see my visible factor, 3x minus 4. And when I'm at partial factorization, a squared minus b squared, then I will factorize. I have a common factor, 3x minus 4. I still have 2x plus 5 minus 3x plus 4 plus 3x minus 4. And then I will simplify to have my final answer. Same. G of x. I have something squared minus something squared. Two parts. Do you have something in common visible? No. Is it an identity? Yes, a squared minus b squared. Come in, a minus b, a plus b, and I can factorize it. And then, to solve it equal to zero, it should be everything factorized. Yani anything equal to zero or not equal should be factorized. I have it already. So I will take the first part equal to zero or the second part is equal to zero. G of x equal to zero similar to it. It should be in the factorized form. Is it factorized? It's factorized before. So I will take the factor I, solve it equal to zero. The first part is equal to zero, and the second part is equal to zero, and I will find the roots. C f of x equal g of x. And I don't know to solve it like this. Everything should be on one part equal to zero. I will take it to the second part, so it's minus g of x. Okay, I will replace it. To solve anything equal to zero, it should be factorized. Is it factorized? No. Ambergial factorization. Two parts, minus in between. The common factor is 2x minus 3. I factorize, I simplify, and I solve it equal to 0. Each part is equal to 0. Mohone come in. Define, yani when my denominator not equal to 0, not equal to 0, and I'll put and in between. It's typically the same or typical questions. 
Simplify, I'll simplify the common term. Now, equal to zero. Our numerator equals zero, I will cross multiply and I will solve it equal 